even with the electricity grid network rolling in many parts of rural areas of Uganda, connectivity is in some cases non-existent, calling for more access to affordable alternatives, according to some communities. In our village, we are going to have many opportunities, like irrigation will be there, uh, better homes, uh, better life, and actually, uh, holistically, solar is, is the best way to go. There is this project the government is, 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 uh, is bringing of homeschooling. If people access light, then the kids would, will be able at least to, to, revise, to revise their books in time, any time, any, any place. The sixth solar village, a new cooperative model that strives to ensure larger access to renewable energy solutions aimed at improving micro enterprise to thrive, has been launched in Savo Village in Wiko District. We already implemented uh, six solar villages in the last uh, about three, two to three years, and so we plan to to implement more solar villages. One of them is in Samvia, and we are also implementing another in Ruhita in our Kavali district. And our target is that once we support our member companies, they are able to move on and improve their businesses. Uh, we call upon government to continue supporting uh, such cooperatives because we know we know our our problems. <laughs> when you're talking about in some village, you're not going to ask someone in New York to understand what is in Isambo. But the Solar Entrepreneurs Network for Decentralized Energy Access in Uganda, in partnership with Stifling, are expecting such communities to develop in their social economic well-being, but also elevate them into the national productive bracket. This solar village project, we are required to identify a village. We are going to be able to sell a hundred solar lights at um, installment payments. The beneficiaries are going to pay in uh, six months. You pay 50000 to sign up and then you pay 40000 40, for five months. That is 250 And you see this community here, they are farmers. They can be able to realize that money, but they need someone to support them realize that. On-grid electricity connection costs has since moved upwards, also twice the initial amount to as much as 700,000 shillings today, pressing the demand on much renewable energy options with emphasis on quality accessories standing strong.